To see how much LEDs have affected your life, look no further than the nearest intersection at walk, don't walk signs or automobile taillights. There are four million traffic signals in the U.S. alone, and half of them have already been converted to LED. So have exit signs and information displays. Here on New York's Times Square, the scrolling NASDAQ sign uses 18 million of them. Why? First, they use less power. 94% of the electricity burned by ordinary bulbs makes heat, not light. That's why they burn out. LEDs don't burn at all. They're microchips. They just glow. Second, they turn on and off faster than anything else. This means that you can stop 19 feet shorter at 65 miles per hour if the brake lights in front of you are made of LEDs. Now the wrap on LEDs has always been color. The whitest white was still kind of bluish. However, recent breakthroughs are providing a whole rainbow of colors. Novella Smith is a lighting designer used to working with architects and homeowners, but she's attracting movie directors and television producers now that her company has developed LED technology that can be tuned to any subtle color. But now we're adding as many colors as we possibly can get our hands on. So now we add amber and cyan and um, indigo and we add red orange to the mix. It's ironic that most televisions can't convey the difference between cyan and blue here and amber and red here. Ah, but on the stage... I would love to do an entire theater because then you would have a complete system that would give you any color that you could ever want at any angle that you could possibly want and that would be spectacular. You can actually create a set on, say, on Broadway that's all LED and it can be lights, it's the set, and it's the, the painting. You know, Peter the Scharf's that. lighting company is the largest provider for Broadway shows and rock tours and corporate events. They're going in for the little lights in a big way. This type of LED concept is, is being used in many ways as a company that weaves it into curtains and you can just drape miles of curtains if you want. And you, it looks beautiful from a few feet away. It looks like a television set. Which brings us to your house. Now that colors and the cost are finally acceptable. Watch out now that the designers have caught on. This is a row of LEDs projected through optical fibers in a broom. From the University of Art and Design in Lausanne, Switzerland. For the first time, every designer and manufacturer offers a line of LED lamps. Industry analysts predict that 2007 will be the first year that LEDs begin to ease out Thomas Edison's invention, although it won't be a clean sweep for another 10 years. With the next step in lights, I'm Richard Hart.